So a lot of research uh, aimed at understanding the later stages of MS. So of course early on we think of MS as being predominantly inflammatory disease where there are a lot of relapses. But later on there's more progression and understanding how that happens uh, will be critical to treating progressive MS. And so uh, there major breakthrough I think uh, in the last decade has been understanding that the nerve wires that we call axons uh, mm -hmm. break up and they can break up for two reasons. One is that immune cells can go in and make them snap or become transected and the other seems to be that just the loss of myelin, chronic demyelination renders those axons susceptible to this process that we call degeneration. So it's like a tree trunk without the bark around it, uh, that the, the trunk becomes susceptible to the weather and the elements and, and may uh, start to not process uh, the nutrients from the soil up to the leaves. And that may be the same kind of thing that, that happens in MS. And so we're now understanding at a molecular level exactly how those nerve wires dysfunction and are developing whole new strategies to intervene that are very different from the ones that we've been using in MS over the past 20 years.